needs to peek first here if they're going to try to fake out the boathouse play spams going down as jd takes out zeke they'll close in on the site but there's still two players to deal with the flash is perfect and a kukos or existence completely shuts them down mix walls all by himself and taken down by jd in an awkward and these side already taking control of the side korea with only a ghost but chihuahua has the god gets two kills with the specter third one dies to a kukos and it's flawless rounds all over the place. Obviously, they wanted to take it more proactive. It was there was an attempt. It didn't work. Now we're into three versus four. As NIP want to rotate back into side, but they don't know about Mix while up close in Garden. He could be the real big player here because they're smoking it out. They're shock darting and they're going for the plant. Those players aren't going to push it. I haven't just yet. I would have thought. Yeah, no, they're not. So Mix is going to be the one to take first point of contact. Kriya wants to clear him out. Thinking about it, they're worried about short, but the timing is there. Mixwell swings as they start to forget about that position, and he gets a triple. That is heartbreaking if you're NIP. But Ryan is, well, no, he's not still here. He's gone. He's dead. <laughs> The reluctance and movement there, but you know, it was an eco. Now Rhyme with the push from Breach allowed him to get a kill, but then he is being traded still an upper hand for NIP. But the execute is happening and Akukos fails. Now we have control of side being taken by G2 because of the ultimate from Omen. Patitix on the backside, three players from G2 taking control of side. Are there any ultimates? That can be used for the retake. Not anything meaningful. There's a resurrection from Sage. But is there any bot available? There is. In B, Connector. Rhyme now is going to be the crucial part of this retake. He will have his recon arrow available. 100%. Good kill by Chihuahua. Oh, this is a free kill. This is a free kill. Korea takes him. But either way, that was going to be a frag. The player got spotted right behind the smoke. Zeke in trouble. 24 HP has to hit them all. And there's no way that's going his way. The fuse easily comes through without a single player loss on the retake. Gorgeous stuff from NIP. I always go. It's not going their way. Uh, not going against them, but just not going their way. So with 30 left. seconds left, they're kind of pigeonholed into going to the A side. or making a very loud and obvious rotation. Chihuahua it was a bit of a misclick. Hit his keyboard, I bet, as he's flicked to the left. Gives away his position, and he dies because of it. Gotta get your line keyboard there, Chihuahua. As he falls down, we're now in a four versus three. NIP still have the advantage on the retake. They have the rolling thunder as well. And this is where G2 need to be very careful of the positions they're in. If that player can hit a three-man rolling thunder, the round is over. You have to be able to spread out and take positions where you're not in as much danger. It's going to be the crossover from Patatek, and he goes at just the wrong time, still gets caught, goes through the reload, because why not? You're dead. Rhymes in with a quad kill to leave Mixwell alone. Op in hand. He wants to go for the spam, but he realizes he'll just be killed immediately as all four players are on the site. They would spam back through the smoke, and that would be the Raider skin given over towards NIP. The push into the B site is going to be executed. We've seen very, very slow rounds so far from G2, which isn't, I'm not really accustomed to seeing. They're hoping that NIP make a mistake, trying to rob them of any sort of confidence to go for early peaks. Hith, eh, he wanted to get up there. The door is closed. Shut down is Rhyme as 4v3, but Chihuahua back site still alive. He's good for two. He's looking for more. Watch Chihuahua. He's got a 3k from back site and a 4k. Chihuahua, what is that? And again, it goes back to the point. This guy, he plays on and fight's about to go down with JD, who just shuts down one. On the site, that fake that's being sold, Mixwell's doing a good job of it. He just bails out of there, drops the smoke. They now realize, or they will in a second, okay, we're actually being duped here, because here's the push out to the B side. Up close, Rhyme is able to catch himself. Zeke, Artist shuts him down right away. Good trade. They can get on site. They can get the spike plants, and Mixwell stabs one in the back. Really, really nice round from G2, but it's not over yet. And IP are on their way back in. And with the door not closed, Mixwell might... Oh, he's here in the steps. He knows Spike there's one planted. player going spawn. And he's ready for one to come out market. This could be pretty huge. Considering he's low HP, normally you'd like basically be out of the round in a lot of scenarios. But he can really do it here because he's on a head peak angle. Oh, I mind. love that by a Kukos. He's just been shut down. Oh, yeah, it, we saw it the other day, right? The player failed to do that. Artis is taking down a Kukos on the push, but he's still 33 HP. To, there's plenty of time. Well, maybe not plenty, but considering how close he is, oh! the timing from Artis really well done. Yeah. Just because in case somebody at home is a little bit curious. Obviously, we are playing on 2.02, not 03. So the recent change, Frenzy, Marshall, Spectre, all gone. You know, they're not here. Not right now. Stinger. Did I say Marshall? Sorry. Yeah, no, you said, I meant you said Spectre. Spectre, excuse me. Stinger. 
Obviously, I can't name weapons very quickly. <laughs> mess up. Uh, Kukos in a little bit of trouble. That molly is so pesky to deal with. It's placed down below and then activated above. You can see it right there. There's nothing you can really do. Now, we're looking at JD swinging, catching them with Rhyme. Got one more to deal with, but he can't get it done. Kukos, who had been delayed, doesn't know about Pith. Gets peeked from the side and shut towards the B side. You've got one player stuck up close. There we go. The right click on that range. Excuse me, Pith. So it's supposed to be nerfed, but Pith says no. They all go in a straight line for him. Shut down in a second, though. So with the spike being planted, look at the HP. Two players super, super low in G2. Oh, that's not quite the dash you wanted. As these players push in, one boat, one backside, but they don't know that they're all just stacked up close. And the frenzy round, not even the pistol round. It goes the way of NIP. They only rotate just yet. Your killjoy wants to keep her utility activated. But now that means his 1VX is constantly being offered up. Artist almost jump shots. He's in a little bit of danger. Gets tagged up. Mix well on the side. He's the one. He finds it. Dashes to the back. Smoke down. Spray not good. Ryan able to take him. JD with another. The silence weapons through smoke. Man, they're so dangerous. And now NIP have got the advantage. They've got the site. They've got the plan. It's up to G2 to get right back in here. Not the kind of round that you want to be losing right after the pistol to be shut down in that way, but Oof, it that, this one stinks for sure. Like you're, you feeling that you force your P garage control, which is being controlled by the traps from Cypher from NIP. And now they're being stacking on A where Pith actually holds the A short. This is such a cruel piece. Now they know that everyone else is on just on site and no one is pushing else on A short. Everyone is on site. 5v4 retake for G2. No ultis to play with on either team. It's going to be a limiting factor. You know, if you had it for NIP, like a rolling thunder, maybe they try some aggression, push up into heaven or something, but it's not going to be. Oh, that's the first for me. A kill in a pro game with a wolf for that I've been <laughs> casting. Doesn't happen all the time, but it's happened this time. The turret booped back, but it causes some unfortunate angles. And we end up in a one versus three. Hold on. Korea runs out of ammo, and that's all that stops him. Zeke in with the triple. But that was damn close. I actually don't think he wins that if there's a couple more bullets. If two times, half HP for him. I do wonder. Is, oh, hold on. Shock Dark going up is actually going to catch a little bit of damage. These Seekers being destroyed straight away give very little information. Ryan goes down underneath to dash out to sight. The trade not even needed. Korea handles it himself, goes for the reload. If they try... Oh, JD. Wall bank. Drops down. Stays safe. Swings wide with his teammates. And it's a one versus three. Spotted above, spammed, Ted as Ooh. can be. Small armors uh, with small shields instead of other uh, other equipment. But now let's focus on the map because there's a huge push by NIP on B. Five people going through. A stampede pit. That's a very aggressive uh, ult usage. They can spam it. Patatech, hello, double. All ready from the back side. Here comes a push on the pit that's not going to go their way. And so it's all left down to Akukos. He's got a 1v3. There's the Rolling Thunder. It's going to catch all three players, two of which are walled off. Flash over to provide some support. They know that player's still on site. They can see him. He's being tagged up. He's being flashed up and now just pushed by a pistol. Bit aggressive by Mixwell. Wow. He went out a second earlier than his teammates, but eventually they go and peek. I said he pushed A-Main before, and here he goes yet again. Kriya's being spotted, spammed, but he still wins the fights. What? Kriya with a double. Looking out for more. They might not know, they shouldn't know, that there's a third player here. Artis, he swings though. He thought maybe it's just one guy. Maybe he's taking the orb. Instead, swings into heavy traffic, gets taken down. Slow orb in heaven. Guaranteed plant. And what a blunder by G2. Yeah, that's that's very unfortunate. Also, the timing on the peaks was quite, quite unfortunate for G2 as well. They went one by one when they knew where Kriya is have spike they don't have time all you have to do is hide or catch them when they go to the spike right when you but instead it doesn't see anyone. now nip <laughs> looks to move into the b side they want oh, to no. they want to push through they've taken down artists that could cause rotates mixwell is still conscious that they could come out pith spamming through the smoke catches a wall bang headshot onto chihuahua that is a massive pickup they know where chihuahua is 10 seconds left it's time to go pith on the site now the solo defender zeke breaks down the wall to cause some paranoia but pith he's gone spike is going to be planted in time and it's a 2v4 nip so close to taking this map and putting themselves one step closer to securing their spot in masters 
It's only Zeke and Patatech left to try and stop it. No ultis to play with, and even if they had them, I think the Seekers is all they really would hope for in this situation. The heals are there for Patatech, but not for Zeke. Oh, He's greedy. still on 6 HP. He gets himself a Vandal. He needs it, really, considering his health. Has to rely on the one-shot headshot. They dodge the tag. They swing out, and they forward. About to meet right on into Mixwell. The Frenzy round, still with the armor and the Frenzy on this update, is dangerous. Artist distracting Mixwell. Picks up a double, and from below, never mind, Artist, he has to wait a while to get his first kill because Mixwell's greedy. He's picking all of them up and one to zero week. Paid dividends for them. Yeah, I think they even did check and Mixwell just wrecked them as well, which was interesting. Oh, the spray from Zeke is good for the first. He's in a little bit of trouble on the site there. Backside of Kukos just gets rushed down by four players after ducking under hell. That is or under heaven, which is home. G2 want to come back in. The B site is very easy to take if you just uh, plant the spike and go mid. That's why they're taking so much control outside of A. They want to force the fight there. They know that as well. G2 don't have the best of weapons to take kind of decent range fights. So once this smoke fades, you know, Artis, he, I don't know. What, okay, he's got a bulldog, so he can actually take a decent fight on the on range. But he's the last one alive, so he's going to do... Oh, God, the headshots. If that's a phantom. To both. If, if some rhyme, very risky, but he gets the angle. Wow, th this could have been actually been huge for G2 if he gets at one tap and gets the phantom back. Standing but ahead. now they're on a disadvantage. Three versus four retaking on heaven left. is just a horror story. Better than 3v5 though, so a chance they actually go. Oh no, Piff! Oh no! Why did we watch that? Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> well, he's whiffed the whole mag of a bulldog as the spike is going to be planted. I presume that was close. Ryan oh swinging my. wide to provide the cover. They, JD gets the kill. There's they the know Patitek is still there. Planted. They do. Look, he's pretty coming out pre-firing it. A Kukos. There is absolutely none. No mercy, as the name apparently stands for. Mixwell! He yeah. dashes, <laughs> dashes forward. Happened? I think he completely whiffed mechanically, but it's still... Oh, oh my God. What? JD's down. 1v1. Mixwell with it all on the line. They need this round. Up above he goes. He knows the player's on the left, evidently. He's waiting for an angle. Misses the shot. Out it comes again. Time starting to really be an issue. But Mixwell... Gets it done! All three kills, the clutch and the defuse. What did I just witness? I was just, you know, putting doubt into an opera. Didn't short correct, but in the meantime, there's a huge execute and a rocket to the face. Artist dies. This is his demise, but JD unfortunately falls back. Now it's 10 seconds to left to plant. 10 seconds left. A crossfire, man. NIP are left. out for blood, out for revenge. They've got it. Oh, hold on. Patatech's come up behind. They didn't even spot that one coming. He's in with a double, and now it's danger time for Rhyme, a 1v2, as he's got to try and win this one out, and it's so close. That spray transfer with a phantom, definitely doable, but Patatech's flank was too powerful. Picks up the operator, and that is going to be a fourth round for G2. They are starting to fire up a little. <laughs> Pit's not even looking the right way. Can't flame him. But it's going to cost NIP. Or it's, no, 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 it's not. It's not going to cost NIP. It's going to cost G2. Recon goes through. Spots a player. They can't spam, but artists can. Kukos goes down. G <gasps> what? 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 Oh my God. How does JD survive that? Knives to the face. They're giving him a haircut. He's gotten some skin off his nose, but he's all good to go. Zeke. Now, coming in to try and recover something. That spray was a little awkward. The blast pack almost gets him, but JD was there first. JD did consistently, but the rate of fire of the Phantom. You got two of you spraying as well. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 what, what, this wait, is a bit what, of a turnaround, wait, what, though, isn't it? Mixwell comes up behind to close it out locally. Otherwise, that could have gotten out of hand pretty quickly. Yeah, we talk no There's a huge execute. Mixwell gets the first kill. Gets traded by Kriya. Plant goes down. Oh, nah, no. never mind. Shock dart again. <laughs> the TP. Oh, the wait. Wait, wait. So wait, he's gone into awkward. hell. The shock dart came right. through and killed Rhyme, who didn't even have the spike. The idea was to kill the spike left. blander. Oh, if they went for it, the spike is currently in hell. Sat down below, waiting, but now has to cross back over. 
has Shadow Step, but he needs to take a fight, and this is dangerous, but Chihuahua in with a double huge work being done by the young Russian, as now they can get that spike down with the Shadow Step oh, no, safe as can be. Right. They're going to spot both of these players, so there's no need to walk around. And in fact, you see a little bit of a fake? Cypher runs up the stairs, so they think he's coming from heaven, but they're both going to come from down below. I don't know how well that's going to sell, though. Okay, Korea's on 11 HP. He's in a lot of danger, but it's Chihuahua that needs to take the fight. He falls. Korea down to a 1v1, and he gets the headshot! Korea, phenomenal! Lurk. I guess. Oh, Pith might as well be AFK there. That's something you see in your ranked <laughs> games. Not necessarily in pro uh, games or Pith. Almost good for a double. Good damage done to Chihuahua. Now the retake for NIP is going to be frustrating. To get back in here with it planted open, but the attempt at a, a side control. JD oh, doesn't get them both. With him falling, this becomes very difficult to hold on to, and they just fall like dominoes mix well good for one good for two over to the ghost now looking for that 110 headshot dashes out onto site but it's being stuck at least for now almost the full way but down he goes mix well with a 4k to put the pistol round in their fit fair enough gonna give the plants over towards padatech he's got himself that little charge and for g uh, for g2 holding off against retakes should be relatively easy they've got full c long control and uh if you look at the spot where it's planted, it's important because they can only diffuse it from one half, right? They can't go all the way. Mm -hmm. um, like if it's planted at the end of the default, there's a big circle they can be in. Whereas there, there's a box blocking half. The side, JD, with a double tap after tap with the Sheriff in hand, Korea. Caught out in the open. Not going to do all too much for that one. But Chihuahua, we've seen what he can do before. Why are they so far away? He could get that halfway if he wanted to. If he actually did get that. That's going to be pretty tough to manage. Korea just pops down the smoke. Paranoia is in effect. It blinds Rhyme. But here's Korea's opportunity. He gets spotted on back sight. They're not uh, switching targets. They're not firing at him. Rhyme and JD come in, though, to save the day. So it doesn't matter. I, I'm really curious. They tagged Korea, but I think they were all so distracted with trying to open for that spike plant to come oh, in for G2. Hunter's Fury doesn't need to be used yet. There's... Oh, that fault line is massive. If he manages to catch anybody, but... Oh, Oh, it's not going to oh, quite work. Ryan with a combo. double. That is massive. 40 seconds left. Spike not planted. Mixwell tries to open up space. He wants to push in, but JD shuts him down. And a 5v2 now. Spike finally gets planted. Ryan got another nade, remember, because of his ult. And the round's over and done with. The G2 show. Well, that was the sh one away from his ultimate. So dying in this round, which is likely to happen because it's an eco, means he has it for the next round for sure. Mixwell shut down, trying to open some space inside of Garage. Patatek wants to plant desperately. It will only oh, wow, a little bit of money, but what? Oh, did he just, he came off it and got a double, a Kukos, and to finish it off nice and cleanly, but that that, that decision-making, they know there's players on C-Long, they have no idea about outside A. Mixwell falls, they think this is a C push, but they're very wrong. Now spotted out, they know these players are on long. The flank begins very quickly. Two players right behind, all JD has to do is buy some time, and that's massive! Spotting them out with the tripwire. JD swings through to try and find the final and the stab in the back from Akuko's. That was Kotrin to take his cage back and look at our tripwire, excuse me, activating up the cages as Mixwell falls. Now the spam through, not landing anything really. Op shot misses. Shock dart through, connects to its target, true as could be. Chihuahua in with another NIP. Hello, 5v2. This is a very quick, very swift turnaround by NIP. Previously, that C long push completely destroyed them, and this time, very different story. And Patrick only on 11 HP. This is going to be a tough round. But G2 has to try it, right? There's no other way. They cannot just give away a, a match point without a fight. Match and serious point, absolutely. You don't want to just concede that over. You want to make sure you can at least win this. But Oy! huge individual play is needed. And it's just not going to happen as Rhyme shuts down one pit. Oh, oh, that's, that's terrible. The tag in at just the wrong time. Rhyme knew exactly where to look. Yeah, we, we need that. But... Hey, look, Mixwell's got his ultimate in hand. This is something that can be the back. And that's an aftershock. Very well placed to push Palatech right into the arms of JD, who is waiting. Happy to receive a guest. Oh, my word, JD. This is huge. In with a double to put them on the lead. Good damage, followed by a kill with Zeke falling. It's a four versus two. Artist from the side swipe at least manages to get one. Goes for the Hunter's Fury. Wants to try and push them off that. He's going to delay as long as he can, but he could be being pushed on. He knows it, even with the knife out. He, no steps he's still expected. Artist needs to get in there and do something, though. It's already half defused. Down he goes, leaving Pith all by himself. A 1v2, but a, one, a 1v3 it was, actually. But now a 1v1. 
That's spam connect, and that's it done and dusted.